today we actually came out to probe a barley car. The barley car is underneath the falling gear protection rail system. That's where we put on our falling gear harnesses, our hard hats, our safety glasses, and our bright vest. That way people know that we are up there and that we are doing it safe and properly in case of any situation. We never know what our weather conditions are gonna be. Wind, rain, snow, sleet, summer, we're up here every day. So the first thing we do is when we come up to the rail car, we verify that it is the correct rail car by looking at their number. Uh, BNSF usually has a six digit number that we verify with it. We circle the car, make sure that there are no leaks, there's no issues with it. If there's any kind of a problem such as leaking fluid or leaking grain at all, then we automatically verify that. After that, we climb up the rail car, depending on the situation. Today we had stairs. Sometimes we climb up the ladder on the side by the brake line, and then we open each door to verify that it is the correct grain or commodity in there. After that, we set up our probe, which is a 12-foot probe uh, made of completely brass. The process with probing each of the hoppers is we have to make sure that we're in the center of each hopper. We also have to make sure that we're getting to the bottom if possible, and that way we have a good quality sample that we're getting and it's representative and that we have enough of our probe slots full in order to get a representative sample. So after we've probed it, we make sure that we put it in a location with us on person, lock it in our vehicle, we get it back to our grain lab and that's where we'll break it down for a grading process. And depending on what the ask on the 907, which is our form that tells us, will either be a thresher run or it's already a process lot. So that way we have the verification to get the grading done in the correct manner.